Hello, everybody. You're very welcome back to House of Games. It is Wednesday. What a week we are having. We've had two one-point wins already this week. Somebody at the end of the week is going to win the trophy. We do not know who it is going to be yet. We do know it will be one of these four people, and they are Will Kirk, Edith Bowman, Hello. Fern Brady, Hello. and Martin Lewis. Now, Martin Lewis, two shows, two wins, one point win each time. How are you doing it? Um, carefully, but I think this is the Wednesday wobble. I think the Wednesday wobble is happening today. My money, here yes. you go. And the reason I'm saying this is then I have two chances of winning. One if I win myself and another gotcha. if my prediction is right. That's clever. Yeah, is Edith today. Oh, come on. I think Edith's been... I, I think no Edith's chance. I've peaked in the first half of yesterday's show. He's absolutely trying to get into your head there, isn't he? He's absolutely. thinking about everything, though. He's tallying up everyone's scores whilst it's going on. He's got an amazing brain. It's I'm just like that. Yeah. Oh? Normally on this show, if I say, take me through your thinking on a particular answer, people go, oh. <laughs> uh, Martin, we get, a, we get a proper kind of very interestingly reasoned lecture. Um, Fern. <laughs> Not necessarily right, though. <laughs> Not necessarily right, you're caught it, but it sounds good, and that's half the battle in life, isn't it? Uh, Fern, yesterday... Mm. One point off the lead. Yeah, I'm outraged you're acting like it's a foregone conclusion Martin's going to win, and I'm, I'm definitely seeing it not as a doing challenge. That. Oh, my God, I would never do that. Listen, if, if one of you three are not going to win the next three days, I'll be absolutely fuming. <laughs> I know what you're capable of. Uh, Edith also lost by one point. That was on Monday. If you win today, there's a prize for oh, you up come here. On. So Martin has already taken home a robe and a dartboard. Got if you were to win today, there's the chopping board, the driving gloves, the hairbrush, <laughs> the toolbox and the wheelie luggage. What do you fancy? Oh, those driving gloves look well sexy. I'm going to go with them, I You're think. You're going to go driving gloves. A rare but hipster choice, Yeah. <laughs> uh, if, I, if I may say. OK. Just don't like the idea of, like, chopping your face whilst I'm making dinner. Seems it's a, a bit, bit much. Weird. You can yeah. turn it round. <laughs> OK. Will, what would you go for? Well, it's going to have to be the toolbox. To, oh, of good. course, the toolbox. You must have so many toolboxes. No, loads of... But this will be a special toolbox. But do you have, like, proper kind of... Because you will, like, have every tool in the world on, on repair. Yeah. But do you have, like, a proper old-fashioned kind of hipstery toolbox from the, from the 1930s? I've got loads of tool rolls for all my chisels. I've got over 300 chisels. You've got 300 yeah. chisels? What? Wow. Have you got, like, a Bob the Builder, like, wow. belt as well? Yeah, it's a huge <laughs> belt. Wow. Between us, Will, you and I have 301 chisels. <laughs> wow. Fern, what would you go for? Well, I travel a lot for work, so definitely the suitcase, just to have your iconic, recognisable outline on but it. But also every single stand-up comedian in Britain owns that suitcase now <laughs> as well. So, oh. uh, yeah, so you have to join the club. You'd all be fighting over it. Mm. Uh, Martin? I'm tempted by the suitcase, but I'm not sure we're going through an airport necessarily. I want the attention <laughs> that your face on a suitcase would bring. Man, I tell you what, those sniffer dogs, yeah. they love it. They absolutely <laughs> love it. So, so I'm thinking the chopping board. I, chopping I've board. Got, I have no qualms about chopping on your face. Lovely. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, let's take a very quick look at our <laughs> weekly leaderboard before we go into round one. Martin up the top there with eight points, but it's been a one-point win both days, so it's going to be super close today. Absolutely no offence to you, Martin, but come on, everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> let's, see, let's see what we can do. Let's replay our first round. Yes. OK, best of luck, one and all. Our first round today is... <laughs> Sounds like. Fingers on buzzers, please. First thing I'm going to do is show you a category, and today's category is Asian countries. OK? I'm going to show you a series of pictures. They will sound like an Asian country, but which Asian country is this? <laughs> that is Will. Singapore. Singapore. Great. Beautiful. A singer and a poor. Okay. Singapore. Well played, Will. If we would stop now, OK, you'd have a toolbox. Yes. Uh, here's your next Asian country. Will. Is it Thailand? Thailand. Oh, of Absolutely. Thailand. And very well done. Yeah. This is Will's round. Wow. This is what they get up to in the repair shop between, <laughs> uh, between repairs. Which Asian country is this, please? Will. Is it Pakistan? Pakistan? <gasps> oh, Will Kirk, everybody. How well well rested. Very, very nicely played. Here's your next category. Colours. What colour is this, please? Will. 
Ruby? Ruby? Absolutely right. RuPaul <laughs> and a Bumblebee. Ruby. It's on fire. What on earth has happened? <laughs> uh, next one. What colour is this, please? <gasps> Fern. Aquamarine. Aquamarine? Oh, Aqua that's Marine. Good. Aqua Marine. Aqua Marine. Very well, very well yeah. played. It's the band Aqua. Next colour. Oh. Yes, Edith. Khaki. Khaki. Oh, <laughs> that's a good one. No. Khaki. Very well played. Nice. It's a good round, this, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, no, yeah. Like no, no, no. Yeah, no. I'm not. Not so much. This is what you did yesterday, though, Martin, wasn't it? Started the first I round. I should give him a chance. Yeah. Um, next category. These are all mammals, but which mammals are they? Yes, that's Edith. Chipmunk. Chipmunk? Oh, absolutely. Okay. A chip and a monk. Chipmunk. A dick monk. I was like, what's a dick monk? It's a dick monk. Saucy monk. Next mammal. Edith. Pine Martin. Pine Martin? Very good. Chris Pine and Chris oh. Martin. I was thinking, I was Chris thinking Chris? Chris Chris. Chris Chris, is that yeah. a thing? Pine Martin, that's beautifully played. Final question. Yes, Will. Wallaby. Wallaby. Rick Waller and a bee. I have no oh, idea who that was no. on the left. No, I didn't. I knew it was Rick. What I was thinking, Rick B. Rick B. <laughs> Come on. Um, what a round for Will. A very, very good round for Edith as well. Let's take a look at our score, shall we? At the end of round one, Martin yet to get off the mark. Fern, you have one. Edith, you got three. Will Kirk, five points. Very nicely done. Yeah. You see, put a toolbox up <laughs> for grabs. Suddenly, <laughs> suddenly it's, comes it's alive. Visual, visual. Yeah, very, very impressive. Let's play a pairs game, shall we? Today's pairs game is going to be. Totes emoji. It's a pairs game. The player in fourth gets to choose their partner. Martin, it's you today. Who would you like to play I'm with? I'm going to have Fern today. I'm going to play with Fern. That's nice. First time we've seen that pair this week. Fern and Martin and Edith and Will. Now, before the show, you all sent me the name of a, an entertainment television show, but using just emojis. You are now going to have to guess the show that your partner sent to me. So, Edith, mm -hmm. before the show, Will sent me some emojis, which yep. represent an entertainment television show. But which entertainment television show is this? Hmm. Oh, I think it's Blind Date. Yeah. Oh, Blind Date, Will? Blind Absolutely. Date. That's good. That's very good. Yeah. That's good. Very, very nicely done. Yeah. Well done if you got that at home as well. Um, Martin, before the show, Fern sent me the name of an entertainment television show using just emojis. Can you get your first point of the day? I'm so sorry. Is that a fireman? Fire sword? <laughs> what do you think at home on this one? Have you got this one? Fight? Mm. Um, huh. <laughs> OK, should we time you out, yeah. Martin? Would you have a clue on this? Would it be gladiators? You're a close. So, Fern, why don't you talk us through your thinking and then ninja reveal warrior. the answer? Ninja. You just got it. I love ninja. What was That's it? Not ninja, a ninja warrior. Ninja warrior? <laughs> That's yeah. not a ninja. <laughs> I know, because there wasn't an emoji for ninja on my phone. <laughs> it went for a fireman instead. <laughs> fireman warrior. <laughs> It's a new series, it could yeah. be really good. I was like, good. London's burning, but I no, put in fighter into my phone and it offered me that emoji. <laughs> Why? Wow. Firefighter. Fire, of course, it's a firefighter. Mm. <laughs> I just realised it's a firefighter. <laughs> firefighter, OK. That is a tough one. Will, before the show, Edith sent me the name of an entertainment television show. She seems confident. Uh, let's take a look at which TV show uh, Edith sent me. Ah, uh, I'd have a guess. Yeah. Hmm. OK. OK. Well, there are two I'm thinking about. However, I'm going to go for the big breakfast. Is it the big breakfast? I think yeah, it is. Yeah. Well done. That's what I'd have gone for. Big breakfast. Very well done. Nicely played. Uh, and Fern, 
before the show, Martin sent me an entertainment television programme. Which programme did he send me? Oh. Oh, Britain's Got Talent. Britain's Got Talent, Martin? Yeah, Britain's Absolutely Got Talent. Absolutely very well done. Oh, very I mean, that does what it says on the tin, doesn't it? Very well done at home if you've got four out of four there. And that's the end of that round. Let's take a little look at our scores. Martin just getting off the mark there. And this is how the leaderboard looks. Martin won on Monday and Tuesday, one today, but that's one point. Fern, you have two. Edith, five. Will Kirk still out in the lead, seven points. Well played, Will. <laughs> A nice position to be in, isn't it? It's lovely. Beautiful. For now. <laughs> For now, <laughs> exactly. Um, three rounds to go. Let's play our next round, shall we? Today, that is going to be... Synonyms. Uh, we've taken the lyrics of some famous songs. You've been a DJ for most of your life, Edith. This would be a good round for you. Oh, we've taken the lyrics, but we've changed the words. They mean the same, but the words have all changed. Fingers on buzzers, which song is this? She shares a moniker with a city in Brazil, in addition to which she boogies at the beach. Will. Rio? Is it Rio? <laughs> Absolutely right, by Duran Duran. Well played. I knew that. Well done. Rio by Duran Duran. Well played. Will, here's your next one. There existed a tiny, titchy, very small, lemony-spotted two-piece swimsuit which was debuted by her on this day. <laughs> yes, Martin. Itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini. I mean, I'm assuming it is. <laughs> Take a listen. <laughs> well done by Brian Hyland. Shows my music <laughs> knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> the last single you bought. <laughs> um, next song. Will this road take me to the largest city in the Texas panhandle? Yes, Martin. It's the Tony Christie. Do you know the way to... <gasps> I'm, a... I'm going to time you out, Wait. I'm sorry. Amarillo. It is, but it's the wrong title, Fern. Is this the way to Amarillo? Is this the way to Amarillo? Let's take a listen. Is this the way oh. to... Absolutely. Tony Christie, well played. Fern, is this the way to Amarillo by Tony Christie? Next song. A recording method wiped out a famous DJ. Within my brain, plus within the automobile I own. <gasps> yes, Fern. No! <laughs> That's oh. dramatic, if nothing else. Mm. Uh, anyone? Yes, Edith. Video killed the radio star? Yes. So that was Have what a I was going to listen, say. shall we? Yeah. In my mind oh, in my car. Yeah, by Buggles. Very, very well done if you got that one at home. Next song. Refrain from running after cataracts. I implore you, remain near aquatic features you already know. <gasps> yes, waterfalls. Then. Waterfalls. Let's have a listen. <laughs> TLC. Absolutely. Well done. <laughs> Please stick to the rivers and the lakes that uh, you're used to. Next one. I'm hoping for a snowy winter holiday similar to others I was once aware of. Yes, Fern. White Christmas. Is it White Christmas? Uh, You're on it with the Christmas songs, eh? Didn't you? <laughs> yesterday as well. Being <laughs> It's very weird to hear Christmas songs. Yeah. Ever. It's like when they come on shuffle on your iPod or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Um, final question in this round. Which song is this, please? I remain seated and tarry. Perhaps a messenger of God scrutinises my predestined future. <laughs> yes, Martin. <laughs> All Sit Down by James? Is it sit Down by James? <laughs> I'm not well afraid. Yes, Fern. Angels. Is it Angels? I sit and wait. Oh, oh, my. I love this round. <laughs> Beautiful. Robbie Williams, of course. Well played, Fern. Lovely round for you. That's the end of that round. Uh, let's take a look at our scoreboard, shall we? Martin stood in fourth there with two points. Edith and Fern joint second with six points each. Will Kirk stood out in the lead. Eight points. Clinging on. Be done. Clinging on. on. <laughs> two rounds to go. Two rounds to hang on. Very close between the three of you. We've seen Martin pick up a lot of points before, though. We've seen it done. Let's play our fourth round. Today it is. 
Put your finger on it. If you take your tablets out, please. I'll show you. I like the tablet rounds. Oh, yeah. that's good. They're my least favourite. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to show you a series of pictures. Uh, I just need you to point to something. Uh, here's your first picture. And I wonder if you could put your finger on the symbol that indicates the product meets EU standards for health, safety and environmental protection. That's a fun question. Which of those means that? What do you think at home? Some familiar looking little symbols there, but what do each of them mean? Will, what were you thinking on this? I think it's the bottom left. Bottom left. Do you know what? When I was looking at that, I was thinking, well, you see that on... You, you see that on lots of things. Yeah. And it's usually like a safety label. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something CE. OK, it's gone bottom left. Edith, what are you thinking? Yeah, same. I kind of eliminated a few that... Are, well, a couple, and then I thought, actually, that's sort of the idea of it being the, the Euro as well. That's the E. Yeah. It used to be the, the gang that we used to be part of. I remember. Fern, are you agreeing with everyone? Yeah, I picked the same and I imagined it was some French letters, like something European. <laughs> oui, oui, c'est ça. C'est très bon. Martin, if you've gone for the same one, then this round is entirely pointless. <laughs> uh, what have you gone for? <laughs> you will actually all be surprised that under common European safety standards, the Rubik's Cube on top right is meaningless. I went for the same as you did. <gasps> this feels like the sort of thing Martin would know as well. I don't yeah. know if that's right. I don't know if you would know it particularly. It's uh, I wouldn't say I'm 100%, thing, but... but I think I'm pretty, I think it's sort of in the, in the high 80s. One of two things is going to happen. We're all going to look great. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to give away four points, and that's lovely. And everyone at home who went for the same thing will be delighted. Or we're all going to look foolish, because I would have gone for the same one. So let's find out what was the correct answer. It was yes. very well done. And it is, uh, you're quite right, Fern, Conformité Européenne is the, yes. uh, is that C, Conformité Européenne. Very well done at home, if you got that one. Let's do another one, shall we, and see if we can come up with different answers. Now, I wonder <laughs> if you could put your finger on Liam Hemsworth, please. Which of those is Liam Hemsworth? What do you think at home there? A fan of the Hemsworths? Who's that guy on the right? Or is that Liam Hemsworth? Mm. OK, everyone's in. I mean, they're all Hemsworths, yeah. but which one of those is Liam Hemsworth? Edith, uh, do you know this one? I think so. It's not Thor. He's in the middle. Yeah. Um, I, I think it's the one on the left. You're going to go for the yeah. one on the left? I mean... Mr X, Miley Cyrus. Is he... Miley Cyrus is ex Liam Hemsworth. Mm. They had a short-lived marriage. Very short. Did they? Yeah. yeah. Didn't know that. That's a real meeting of the clans, isn't it? Fern, sounds like you might know the answer as well. Or you might well, no, I thought I did, and I thought it was the middle one. Uh, so you've gone in the middle and for Hemsworth number two. Martin, what were you thinking? I knew Thor, so I went for Thor. So you went for Thor? Yeah. OK. Well, Thor and Thor. Uh, and Will, what were you saying? I think the middle one's Chris Hemsworth. Yeah. We'll find out. Maybe. I've gone for the left. You've gone left as well. Yes, the one in the middle, that's Chris Hemsworth. Thor. But have we alighted upon... Li <laughs> if anyone's going to get this, Edith, yeah. <laughs> with your film knowledge, it's you. So is that Liam Hemsworth, the ex-Mr Miley Cyrus? Absolutely right. And the other one is Luke Hemsworth. Luke. He was an actor as well, uh, Luke Hemsworth. So a point there for um, Will and a point for Edith. Next picture. Oh, my Blimey. God. Blimey. Mm. I'm looking for the signal for a touchdown. Which of those is the signal for a touchdown? Hmm. OK, everyone's in. So, Fern, which of those have you gone for and why? Uh, I went for the upper left one just because he seems happy. It looks the <laughs> most got expensive, no isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but he's doing this. Yeah, he's touchdown. Like, he can't believe what's happened. Mm. He's like, oh, my... Did anyone else just see that? Someone's done a touchdown? Yes. Martin. The top left is a six in cricket, isn't it, which sort of put me off. Uh, so I thought, it's a touchdown, I'll go for the one who's pointing down. So I went for bottom oh. left. Oh, mm. clever. So you've gone bottom left. Will, what do you think? Did you know this one? No. So I, I've chosen the top left, but I thought maybe that's when they kick it through the 
funny that's possible yeah sticks the little uh, yeah so maybe not a touchdown but when they yeah. score a field goal maybe that's just yeah. a field goal i don't know but okay. on to the top left on top left and edith do you know this one i wasn't sure whether whether it was the ymca or the steps dance they were doing <laughs> to be honest but i'm trying to think of all the films that i've seen where american yes. footballs and that touchdown just kind of popped into oh, my head oh yeah. gosh oh, no. um, I'm, I've gone my bottom left, but I might be wrong. Bottom left. So, we've got a 50-50 split. What do you think at home? Do you agree, disagree with either of those? The signal for touchdown is... The top well one! Yes. Wow. wow. Well, well done. done. Isn't it fascinating how Edith absolutely convinced all of us? Yeah, <laughs> so we I believe went, I literally that. changed yeah. so quickly. Yeah! We all yes. went, Man, went, oh, games are watched it. <laughs> Fern and Will get a point. And that's refused penalty. Okay. Of course it is. There you go. Or an incomplete pass. Also, that's the same. Uh, it's the same signal. Final picture in this round. I wonder if you can point to the yucca. Oh. The yucca, please. Have a little go at home. Have a little point to the screen. Hmm. Which of those is a yucca? A lot of them look the same. Martin, what have you gone for here? At uh, the top right. Top right confident? 98 per cent. Whoa! Whoa. A yucca, a yucca has a wooden base with an offset plant at the top. That's a yucca. Interesting. It's taking a lot of the jeopardy out of the round, isn't <laughs> yes. it? Yes. Will, <laughs> agree, agree or disagree? Um, I haven't gone for that. I uh, thought I had one of those top yeah. right ones in my flat and I would have remembered the name, but obviously not. Interesting. I've gone for... I could make a bit of... Made, just made a you huge... Made up. <laughs> you could have made it up. botanical completely. fall of myself. I'm so I'll never go to queue uh, again. Easily sold. I've gone for the one in the dark green pot, the second from the bottom right. Okie dokie. Edith, where are you going with the yucca? Um, I was just admiring the lovely collection of cacti. Um, I went with top right as well. Recently bought a yucca. And I think they sent me the right plant. 98% guaranteed by the money saving expert. Uh, and Fern? I would have picked uh, the, the top right, but then I was trying to decide it by thinking which ones I can't have because they poison my cat, and I know that a yucca plant poisons my cat, <laughs> and that was why I went for the top left. There's so many things poison cats, so many flowers poison cats, don't they? Yeah, all, 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 the, all the worst house plants are the ones that aren't poisonous to them. Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, so we have a real difference of opinion here. Martin is fairly sure it's top right. Um, but we've got three different plants. What do you think at home? What have you gone for here for the yucca? Let's find out. Have Martin and Edith scored themselves a point? They have indeed. Very well done. Your reputation is intact. I was 100% really, but I wanted to give you some jeopardy. Oh, thank you. Much appreciated. Um, tablets away, please, everybody. We have one round to go. We just have our final round. Answer smash to go. Let's take a look at our leaderboard. Well, looky here. Martin has four points. That might be too much to make up um, in the final round, but three points between the rest of you. Fern, lost by one point yesterday. You have eight points. Mm. Edith, lost by one point on Monday. You have nine points. Will, looking for the toolbox. I want that toolbox. So 11 badly. points. Just for How my big that? chisel. How about that? <laughs> Will and his big chisel skate over that and play our final round, shall we? Which is. Answer smash. Best of luck, everybody. Martin, I think you're too far back. I think you are, but Fern, Edith, Will, I think we're going to find a new champion today. Who is it going to be? One of the three of you. Point for a correct answer, point off for an incorrect answer. Mm. Very best of luck. Your first category is household item. Oh, Those will be the pictures. Here we go. The... <laughs> no? <laughs> is that a problem? Wade's going to get this one easy. Go on, Will. <laughs> hey, don't... <laughs> The let's pressure. I can't play. do the pressure, please. Well, you're going to be fine. <laughs> Did you just say, let's play? Let's just play. Yes. <laughs> let's just play. Come on. No mucking about. Here's your first one. Escargot is the French word for which type of edible mollusk? Yes, oh, Edith. Snail brush? Snail brush. That's the right answer. Snail and nail brush. Snail brush. Well done. Oh, <laughs> It's good tense, isn't it? Uh, it's been next really one. Slow like that. <laughs> Since 2016, Matt Tebbett has been a regular host of which BBC weekend cooking show? <laughs> yes, Edith. Saturday Kitchen Roll. Saturday Kitchen oh. Roll. Ah. Well done. Very well done. Saturday Kitchen and Kitchen Roll. Have a bit of Saturday Kitchen. He's very good, Matt Tebbett. Next clue, next picture. 
Which 1980 Queen single known for its bass line was featured on the 90s TV series Gladiators? Yes, Will. Is that another one bites the dustpan and brush? Another one bites the dustpan and brush? It's absolutely, Will. Well done. <laughs> Next category. Journalists. Those will be the pictures. There'll be ah. clues above. Which Alanis Morissette single spent seven weeks in the UK Top 40 in 1996? Yes, Martin. Um, uh, isn't it Ironic? And I've just forgotten his last name. I'm so sorry, I have to name. time you out. Lose a point. Anybody? Yes, Fern. Ironic Ferrari. Ironic Ferrari? It's incorrect, I'm afraid. You lose a point, Edith. Ironic Diamond. Ironic Diamond. Like you lose a point as well. No! Well, everyone's lost a point. You can just sit back if you want, or you can have a go. <laughs> <laughs> sit back. Uh, it was Anne Diamond. Anne Diamond. Anne Diamond. Anne and Nick, and that's Nick Owen. Nick. Oh. Ironic Owen, we were looking for. Ironic and Nick Owen, lo another lovely, lovely fella. Well done if you said that at home. Next question and next picture. Cameron Diaz plays the title role in which 90s comedy film in which characters played by Ben Stiller and Matt Dillon compete to date her? Yes, that is Martin. There's something about Mary Nightingale. There's something about Mary Nightingale? Absolutely right. Well done, Martin. Something about Mary and Mary Nightingale. Next category. Phew. Oh, wow. Well, no. well, well. Oh, no. Mean. no, who is that? Has Will Kirk won himself a toolbox? Fan so angry. If well, I didn't know I looked your angry. Face yeah. If you have won a toolbox, by the way, and I don't see it on the next series repair shop, I'm going to be absolutely gutted. Oh, gosh. <laughs> of course, because Jay Blaze hasn't got one. No, let's, yeah. Let's just say that. Um, let's find out, shall we? On Monday, our champion was Martin Lewis by one point from Edith. On Tuesday, Martin Lewis again by one point from Fern. Our champion on Wednesday is... Will Kirk Yay! is our champion. Congratulations, I Will. I cannot believe that. How about that? Wow. Wow. I can't believe it. I'm a I mean, yeah, agreed. Let's take a look at the prizes, shall we? You can change your mind if you I wish. Could change, but... you know. Gosh, I wasn't prepared for this. Oh, gosh. You sticking with the toolbox? I'll go for the toolbox. Will right. Kirk wins the House of Games toolbox. Congratulations, Will. Very well played. Another great game. Well done, everyone. Let's take a look at our weekly leaderboard, which is getting very, very close now. Look at Whoa. that. Two <sighs> points between the lot of you, all four of you, still within a chance of taking home that trophy, especially with Double Points Friday coming up as well. Everybody still in it. It's going to be a great week, I think. Two days to go. Anyone's trophy. Will, congratulations yeah. today. Shall we uh, rejoin battle tomorrow? Yes. yes. Excellent. We'll see you here. See you as well on the House of Games. What's your professional opinion, Will? Good quality. It is. <laughs> it's not bad, is it? Not bad at all. Look at that. I love it. I'd love... I'd love <sighs> uh, I mean, that'd take a, that'd take a number of... Yeah. I mean, that, that, that'll come off. I okay, I you, chisel, you can chisel <laughs> that off fairly easily. <laughs>